Hey buddies, we need your help with something. On Friday the 13th this month for our Awesome Peace Theater, we're going to be watching Friday the 13th of some denomination. I'm gonna give some kitties while we talk about this horrific topic. We, Becky and I, are pretty much uh, Friday the 13th virgins. Um, we haven't watched the series before and I think the guys are pretty limited in how much they've watched. Um, I thought this was going to be easy, Friday the 13th on Friday the 13th, but then as we started to discuss it with our turbos on the show, we realized that there are vastly differing opinions on what is the quintessential Friday the 13th film. And I know what you're saying, you're going to think like, you know, just watch a whole bunch of them. Watch them all. Watch them one through four through all the way to the fucking end to the get Jason goes to hell to Jason versus Freddy. We can't watch them all. We only have one night with the guys. They get off work at seven. It's gonna be on seven o'clock, by the way, on Friday. But we need your help determining which, one we're, which ones we're going to watch. At first I was thinking Jason X, because I've heard that one's batshit insane and fucking ridiculous, and I've seen clips of it. And then I thought like, you know, Friday the 13th proper, the very first one. Then I find out, I didn't even know this, Jason proper, as we know him, isn't even in. There's a Hugo isn't even in Friday the 13th. So he apparently, I think, appears in the second one. And like the third, he gets his hockey mask, I hear. The fourth, I hear, has Corey Feldman in it, which I know Kyle would love. I think all the boys would love it, <laughs> Corey Feldman. I heard that fourth is kind of like the quintessential experience, but a lot of people are saying six is really good. That kind of like brings all the best from all the old ones together and puts it into one film. But then I've heard that there's no nudity in six. And I think like, how could that be the quintessential Friday the 13th experience? So I feel like that one's disqualified. I don't want to do Freddy versus Jason. I almost don't even want to do Jason X because this is all about Friday the 13th on Friday the 13th. And Jason X doesn't even really have anything to do with the date Friday the 13th. He go, they just go to space. I mean, that's a Jason film, not a Friday the 13th film. And then I found out that the first two films are the only ones that actually take place on Friday the 13th. And that the fourth, third and fourth take place on the 14th and the 15th, I think, after that. And then the other films just vaguely refer to the date. If we're going to watch Friday the 13th on Friday the 13th, I'd like to watch a film that takes place on Friday the 13th, I feel like. Remember, we only have the ability to watch two because of the guy's availability and because we can't stay up all night watching these films. I wish we could, but... So this is where you guys come in. I'm gonna set up a poll on Patreon. I need your opinions. Basically, pro popular vote is going to rule on this one. Remember, keep in mind when you're voting, we want, being people who have not watched Friday the 13th films, we want the best film to get in, the best two films to get in and get out. Doesn't mean they have to be sequential, doesn't need, they don't need to be the very beginning of the series to give his complete origin. We just want a true Jason experience and something that feels like Friday the 13th, and we want it to be funny. I saw a lot of arguments of people saying, well, if you want a good film, you know, you know, the, the, it, these ones are the best films, like overall films. I don't want it to be good. We want it to be good Jason. <laughs> we want it to be good Friday the 13th. We want it to be stupid. Um, so anyways, I know that's a lot to digest. Vote with your heart. Uh, it's going to be open to everybody to vote, but only those who are $5 supporters on Patreon will be able to join us live on Friday at 7 o'clock p.m. We hope that you'll consider joining if you haven't jumped in on the Patreon. Um, but uh, there you have it. All right. Thanks for your help, guys. The link is in the description.